zombie apocalypse. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to go to your Chrome apps again, and I want you to launch Audio Tool. Remember, you could have little tabs that you have to switch to to get to your apps, but I want you to get Audio Tool launched. I want to start again with an empty one, just because that makes it quick and fun. I'm going to still ignore the quick tour, but maybe watch it someday. And then I want you to make sure that you signed in. That's the big thing, is that you signed in. This is going to be a combination uh, training today, where first we start on the PCs. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to add a drum loop. So find some sort of drum loop that you think is cool. You can tell they're drum loops because they'll say DRMLP. And when you're happy, drag it out into the desktop just like we did yesterday. I found out later in the day that we can drag things into the tracks. But when you do this, you lose the ability to change the volume. And then I just clicked on that and hit delete. I also found that if I held on to the clip, I can hold control on the keyboard and drag another copy of it to the right. So you can make it happen twice. People also stretched and shrunk clips so it only had the part they wanted. As with most times in life, if you read the messages they're giving you, they tell you these cool things too. Like how to control copy, control shift to create a virtual copy, and how to double click and edit your loop. I like to have more than one uh, track of drums, so I found another one that I like. I'm going to drag it out. Remember, you set it beside it. If you get too close, it'll turn red, so I'm learning to get better at that. I want this track to be a little bit quieter. I didn't necessarily show you how you could adjust the volumes yesterday. I'm going to do the same trick by holding control and getting it so that it fills the chunk. And I'm going to hit play to test it. <laughs> You'll notice today I've got the volume a little louder so you'll be able to hear what I'm building. And then I'm going to show you another cool thing. If you shut off this, it doesn't loop the playback. So it ends at the part that we have. I went down and I found a chord that I want to add, which is just a sound. But then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it across so it's in a new spot. Your stuff doesn't all have to start to the left. And I also want to throw in the kick. And I'm going to drop this down below so I'm keeping my stuff kind of organized. And I want the kick to happen here. And I'm going to do control drag and I want it to happen here. And now I'm going to check out what I've made. Alright, it's got potential. Obviously it's not perfect. But that's part of the fun is we get to make it perfect. Uh, at this point, we're going to move to the Chromebook for the next awesome part of this. If you want to make yours a little more awesome, you may. But the important part is that the next cool thing we add is going to be with the Chromebook. So I'd like you to click File, Save, Draft. I'd like you to call it Hear Me Now or something like that, and you'll see why in a minute. And then save your changes so that it has been saved. It'll be private until we publish it, but that is fantastic. And at this point, I want you to go to the Chromebook for your training. Okay, so on your Chromebook, I want you to grab Audio Tool again. This time when it launches Audio Tool, I want you to go to My Tracks. And look at that. Hear Me Now that you created a minute ago is saved. So load it by clicking that button. It grabs the little part. It still asks me about the uh, tour, and I'm going to tell it no. And let me show you why we did this. We are going to use the Chromebook and its microphone to import a sample of our own voices. So I want you to put File Import Sample from Audio Device. When this pops up, you must allow camera and microphone access. And when you do this, you can see that your voice will be heard on the screen. So you need to think of something cool that you want to add to your song. I, like the name I said a minute ago, I'm going to add that silly phrase, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? 
So what I did there was I clicked this, I set it, I clicked it again to shut it off, and now I can preview it. Let's see if you can hear what I sound like. Can you hear me now? Boom. So now I've got those words, and I'm going to click Use, and that sample is now added to my kit. Now I want to trim it, so I'm going to just grab this tiny handle and put it over, and I'm going to grab this end handle and bring it back so there's less blank space between it. Um, I'm going to name it, hear me now, and it's just a silly phrase for a fun loop. I could make tags. Uh, you can hide it from the community, which means it's just yours, and you can confirm it. Uh, you have to confirm it. When you've done those steps, you may tell it OK, and your loop is now available to be added. All we do is go to our samples, go to our tracks, and check it out. There's the Hear Me Now track. I'm going to scroll out so I can see better. I'm going to drop Hear Me Now in. And there's Hear Me Now in my song. I'm going to do that control uh, tag, and I'm going to control drag and make two of them, and check out how I sound. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? So it changes. It changes the volume and the pitch of your voice so that it sounds cooler or different or unique, and you can just end up with an awesome, fun tune using that technique. So that's all I've got for you today. Uh, when you're done, please click File, Save. If you want to publish it, you may. Uh, if not, that's fine as well. I haven't taught you how to use any of these things yet. Uh, we'll decide if we're going to eventually. That's up to you. There's also very cool tutorials that you can get to by hitting the Tutorials button, and they walk you through many, many awesome things, way cooler than what I'm probably doing here, but I just want a quick lesson so you know how it works. Have fun, and make sure you share with me the cool things you make. I'm probably doing here, but I just want a quick lesson. Unicorn Zombie Apocalypse.